Right, now what we're doing with these lessons are trying to teach you how to take still life photographs with very little equipment, stuff you can find around your home. So I hope you enjoy them. Hi and welcome to lesson two. In this lesson I'll be showing you how to achieve a photo like this with equipment you'll find around your house. So off we go. All we do is put the bottle in the glass on a table and an angle poise light over the top. Now as with all um, bottles, anything that's got a text on, we always light from the left hand side because that's the way our eye, um, our eye reads. Now if I put a white reflector, I don't know if you can see it, it's a white reflector. If I put a white reflector down the side, we start to get quite a classic um, light on a bottle of wine. So once we've got a reflector in that side, we will think about putting a reflector in the other side. I'm um, not sure we're going to, I'm just thinking about it at this moment. Um, we'll have to have a think. I'll put it there for now. Um, and again, we might move it later, we'll see. Right, let's try a, a wider one now, that's nicer isn't it? I think that's a lot better. So it's just a silly old bit of black card. So gradually we go around building up the uh, building up the shot and trying to find what we don't like and what we do like. Now what I don't like is of course the flare that's coming from the top light. So what I need to do is cut down with the card above, you see, and that in the right place will cut down the light that we're getting into the lens. And I like to bring that in as close as I can to the lens because I think it works better. So I'll bring that to there. And when I fixed it in place, I'll switch the camera back on. Well, here's our first uh, little test shot, if you like, at this stage. Now, it's just to pick out little details that now that have to be solved and decide what we're going to do with the rest of the light. It's just a nice little uh, thing to do halfway through a shot. Now, as I say, there's one or two problems as we've blown this up, and that's the blue reflections. Well, I know what those are because I've already looked, and they're, in fact, my computer screen reflecting um, so we'll solve that when we come to shoot there are one other two reflections that got to be solved there's dirt on the glass there's dust on the glass there are several little problems in reflections down here um, the bottle is way out of shape up here the neck of course that white reflection is too far in and not far enough out so it has to come up to the edge and we'll do that by moving the piece of card that gives this reflection down the glass. So that's the next thing we're going to do. I think also it's a little bit distorted, so maybe we should change to a longer lens to avoid that. So here we have the two um, different lenses side by side. Now the right hand one is the longer lens and you'll see the bottle is a lot more um, massive, it's a more chunky bottle which is nicer. The glass also is in better proportion to the bottle and that's what I prefer. One or two problems that have been caused and that's the background of course that's got to be flattened down a little and changed and this reflector that's come into the image, well we could leave that and retouch it afterwards, we'll see whether that's going to be necessary. Now I'm going to get on and change a few things and the next shot you'll see um, rather than keep you bored for about 20 minutes is um, working on the reflections in the glass and the bottle. Now here we are, now we've solved uh, one or two things. The bottle now around the neck is looking uh, the right shape each side. The glass is looking a little bit better. The background I've changed to be quite nice. Now the next thing is to light the background. So as to lighting the background, um, I've been into my lounge and found uh, this uh, stand light. Um, my wife will go mad when she knows I've just taken it. But um, right, well we're going to now switch that on, and this is how we'll light the background. We'll do it from low down probably. I'm looking in my monitor at the same time, and we'll do some sort of light um, like that. Now I've admitted to my wife that uh, I've taken a sheet off the bed for this background so then she managed to iron it 
Um, I like the light on the background now. I think I'm going to leave that like that. There we are. Um, now I'm just worried about one thing. We're nearly at the end of the shot, but I'm a bit worried that the label was too dark. Now I've run out of lights. Uh, I can't find anything else. I can't get a reflector in there that works right. Even a mirror um, doesn't really work as I want. So I went into the garage and I found a torch. Now this is a standard, one of those standard pocket torches. Now if I just do that during the exposure, it'll light my label. Now because I keep it moving, it changes from a direct light into an indirect light, which is quite handy because it doesn't cause any hard shadows. It puts a nice little reflection in the glass. It puts a nasty reflection in the bottle, but one that's so easy to get rid of. So I think that's the way to go. Now, this is a technique I've been using for a long, long time. And not many photographers use it. So I hope you uh, find it interesting. Well, I've switched the camera back to 100 ASA and taken the final shot. Now, this is it straight from the camera. Obviously, it needs a bit of retouching, so we'll do that now. Well, what I've done is, uh, in fact, I've added 15% blue, 5% um, cyan to the colour, and I've increased the contrast by 20%. Um, now that's the result. I've had to do that, of course, because the lights are not really colour balanced uh, in the camera. A little look back at how we started. Now, the light you see has not moved at all um, since the beginning. Only reflectors and the background light and the torch have been added. A rear view shot of the whole set, uh, just to uh, show you how it's done. Once again, to close the, uh, the final shot of the bottle and glass. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope it'll make you come back and look at some of the other lessons. Goodbye.